Katya. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Whoops, running and running. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, but I am on time. That's very good. You're always on time. Yes. You're very responsible. Yes. Thanks, Gab. Good evening. Good evening, Vasilia. Good evening. Hello, Jenny. <laughs> Welcome, Katya. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Well, guys, as you uh, as you may know, today it is our last class before going to vacations, right? So, and we are about to finish the the module as well. With after vacations. Uh, we will only have uh, six more classes, and after that, we will be done with the module. So it will probably be like like a week and a half more. So um, we are about to finish this, okay? So um, congratulations to you all guys, because that means that you're going to the next level. And it also means that you're getting like your certificates that will allow you to, to be certified as someone who speaks English, okay? I didn't even know, I told you last, last class, like, well, yesterday, right? That I didn't even know that you were going to intermediate one. So I'm very happy guys that, that you're going to that level because that means that you're going to learn like some different things and well, you're going to be improving yourself and trying to get more vocabulary and practicing a little bit more, okay? So, so happy for you guys. And also I wanted to say uh, thank you, Sandra Araceli, because I've been checking the WhatsApp groups. So I see that you have been helping some of your classmates. That oh, is yes. very, very good. That means uh, that you have a lot of partnership with people. So, and I'm so glad that you are a group that you, I mean, you're friends between you all. I mean, you have been helping each other and that's something really nice. Because oh, thank you. Uh, I don't know if you have been the same of you have been before or is it the first time you're all within a class? Well, uh, some are new. Uh, they are not the same classmates. Oh, they are not the same. All mm -hmm. right, but probably some of you already know each other, right? So um, that's very good. I just wanted to say that. Thank you so much once again for coming to the class. That means that you are like, you want to learn yes. something like every day and that will help you to go to to a next level and also to get a little bit more of knowledge. So for today, uh, we will have something that you, well, some of you asked these questions through the group. Today we will see the use of so, to, either, and neither. So I know that some of you are already related to this topic because there were some exercises on the platform. So you probably know a little bit about this, but today we will clarify all those doubts, just in case you didn't understand something or why you needed to put something there. Today we will learn it. So it's not a very difficult topic. It's really easy actually. So um, let's start for today. It's ready A A3. We're going to start for today. See, um, yes. All right, so let me share the presentation with you. Um, we have it, it's gonna be the use of so, to, neither, and either. So um, 
As I told you two minutes before, um, you already know a little bit about this because you had some exercises on the platform. So you probably know how to use them. But today we will have like the grammar explanation, okay? Today I will, I will explain you where you have to place it in a sentence, the way you have to use it in a sentence and why you have to use that. Because sometimes when we are making some exercises, uh, being honest, completely honest, sometimes we don't know what are we putting on the exercises because we need uh, to clarify some doubts that someone help us or guide us through the through the topic so we can understand a little bit more but today we will see that all right so we will start and i will ask for katia's monterosa participation so i i see you kind of tired today katia was a difficult day Excuse me, teacher, can you repeat me? Yeah, just help me to read that. Okay, okay. Uh, use of so, to, neither, either. When someone expresses a statement, we can simply use... Simply? Simply use phrases, phrases, or I don't know how... Phrases? Phrases, phrases like me, neither, neither do I, to indicate that the same or similar situation applies applies to another person group entity 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 all right so as the as ex, as the meaning says over there we're going to use so to neither or either to express as a statement um I'm, I'm really sure that if you have watched any movie or, or any kind of video, video of someone who speaks native English language, you have probably heard some expressions such as me neither, neither do I, so do I. They, they commonly use those expressions because ours is simple to use them. And people usually use it uh, in the US. That's so common to hear. So today we will understand how to use them. And one more time, these four uh, things, we will know that they express a statement. They can agree or not agree with something, but today we will learn how to do it, all right? so. We're going to start with so. You know that you are so familiar with this. Some of you are so familiar with this. It's not gonna be that difficult for you. Let me let me see. Let me move this part over here. All right. So uh, as you can see there you have a, a formula or you have an structure that you need to follow in order to answer to a sentence, right? We have the grammar part over there, Are you, as you can see there. First of all, you need to use so, then you have an auxiliary, auxiliary or model verb. Now that you know all the model verbs, let me ask um, Jenny Glorivel, can you tell me the 10 model verbs that we saw like some days ago? Uh, would, mm -hmm. uh, should, should mm -hmm. um, ha heart, Mm -hmm. Uh, ma may, mm -hmm. might, okay, will, mm -hmm. uh, sh a shall, uh, um, oh, most, ma must, okay, uh, um, can, mm -hmm. Uh, 
or, or two? All right, thank you. So uh, as you might remember, we had ought to, we had must, we had should, we had uh, all of them, right? So I need you to clarify something to you or something that, that you have to keep in mind. As you can see here on the, on the examples or on the picture that you can see there, we have some examples. Uh, so I will need some help from you. I will need, first of all, Sandra, then goes Katia. After Katia will go Claudia Patricia. Then it will go Elizabeth Lopez and Basilia Monterroso. All right, so go ahead. Okay, hey. Celine is watching TV, so am I. All right. Um, can speak French fluency, so can I. All right. Me, Terry yes. has completed his master's degree. Mm -hmm. His parents should be more responsive. Mm -hmm. Stephanie was worried yesterday, so I asked. So why ask? Uh, Thank you so much. Yes, go Marian. ahead. Marian Sam will join the cheese club. Thank you. And the last one, Reinaldo. Mm -hmm. Nathan looks so confident. So do I. Thank you. So Today, we are going to understand how to use them. As you can see here on the yellow letters, is there a note? And the note says, we should pay attention to the verb tense used in the statement while choosing our auxiliary form. What does that mean? That, for example, on the first sentence, it says, Celine is watching TV. So, Stephanie Ramirez, what is, is our, in the first, in the first sentence, is there a model verb or is, or is it an auxiliary? I'm sorry, teacher, I can hear you. Is it? Repeat me, please, again. All right, so in the first sentence, are we using an auxiliary or are we using a model verb? An auxiliary. And which one is it? So. Is, is. The verb be, right? So thank you so much. That's why the note, it says there that you have to pay attention to the auxiliary. So in the first question, if you notice there, we have the verb be. That's why when we answer that to a positive statement, we will say, if we follow the structure, right? First, we have so, then we have the auxiliary is, but in this case, because I am going to use the pronoun I, I say, I use the verb, the form of the verb be am. So the answer to Celine is watching TV will be, so am I, so am I, right? Something that I need you to be clear that you have to like uh, to make an intonation to this. You can say, so am I, or so am I, right? So be clear on that, right? Make stress on the last, uh, on the pronoun, so am I. So am I, so right? Am I. Because so am I. like that, because you are making a, a statement, you are saying that you are positive to that statement. So you have to make that intonation to a stress on the pronoun. So am I, all right? So in the sentence number two, um, what can you notice, Katya? Why did we use can over there in the answer? Why did we use it? Um, 
Do you have any idea yeah. of why? Because then uh, a bear, uh, then is a bear, and the, that is a model bear. A model bear. So before a bear. Mm -hmm. Before, yes. So, yes. Que, yes. Who said Claudia? Is that you? Yes. The uh, the pronunciation the his parent sure be more re uh, responsive. Esa esa palabra. Responsible. 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 Yes, thank you. Okay. All right. No problem. So, as I was telling you. Something that I need you to keep in mind. Algo que quiero que se les quede claro. When you see a sure. sentence. Yes, Joaquin? And the, and the fourth, fourth one. Why uh, we use we? All right. Let me tell you. All right. So we have the... We have the sentence that it says, his parents, his parents, right. sh, sh, okay. parents should be more responsible. Estamos diciendo que los padres de él deberíamos, deberían ser más responsables, right? Si estamos diciendo que sus padres deberían ser más responsables, es porque nosotros como padres Estamos hablando de sus padres. That's why we use, so should we. Porque nosotros en plan de padres, estamos hablando de sus padres. I don't know if you get me the idea. Mm, yes. More or less. Mm, how can I tell you this? For example, Let's say that we're talking like, estamos hablando como en un sentido figurado, right? If I tell you, his parents should be more responsible. Let's say that it's, it is a conversation between you and me. Estamos teniendo una conversación ahorita. Y va pasando alguien de tus amigos, someone of your friends is going through or walking by, and we both okay. see that person. We both see it. Ambos la vemos. Entonces vengo yo y te digo a ti. His parents should be more responsible. ¿Cuánto sabemos en el lugar? So eres tú y yo, right? Entonces, si habemos dos, ¿qué somos? Utilizando el pronombre, somos utilizando el we, porque somos dos. Yes? That's why. Okay. All right, so you do, is it a little bit clear right now? Yes, teacher. All right, all right. So if you still have the doubt or you don't understand something like that, ask me, teacher. please. Yes, Katya, teacher. go ahead. You didn't finish the idea uh, about the second sentence? Oh yeah, I, I was going through that, okay. So um, thanks for reminding me. So, we have there, Sam can speak French fluently. For example, in my case, uh, in my case, I speak French. I also speak French. I speak English and French. That's, that's a true. I'm a teacher in English and French. So I, I will speak based on my experience, okay? So let's say, that I'm giving you an example, Katya, and I have a, like a co-worker with me. Let's say that we're on an, an academy and, and I tell you, Katya, you know what? Sam can speak French fluently, but because I can, I, I tell you, so can I, yes? This is like, uh, like, Como like language, how can I say this? How do we say it in Spanish though? So, so you can understand what I'm saying. Let me see. Um, figurativo, that is, that's it. Like we're talking in lenguaje figurativo because as I told you, 
let's suppose that I have a coworker and we are both working at an academy. And my coworker, he speaks French, but because I do, when I tell you, Katya, Sam can speak French fluently, so can I. Yo también, right? Yeah? Do you get me the idea? Sí, lo que pasa que usted iba a decir que no, que tuviéramos bien algo en mente cuando dice oh. que sí. Oh, all right, all right. O sea, lo otro sí lo entiendo. Eso sí. Very good. So, in this case, something that I was, yeah, that you have to keep in mind, that based on the auxiliary or based on the model verb that we have on the sentence, that model verb or that auxiliary will give us the answer about what or are we going to respond or what are we going to say? Yes, because if you can notice on number one, we have the auxiliary, that is the verb be, and that's why here we are using on the answer, the verb be. On number two, we have the auxiliary verb. No, in this case, it is a model verb, can. That's why when we have the answer, we use can. On the number three, we have an auxiliary that is the verb have, conjugating on third person. Yes, that's why we use it on the answer. The verb have conjugated in third person. And uh, number four, we have a model verb that is should. That's why when we answer, we, we are using should as well. On number five, is that an auxiliary verb or is that a model verb? Auxiliary, auxiliary. auxiliary verb, but it is in which tense? In que tiempo? Which tense? Pass. In past, past right? So if you notice there in, in sentence number five, we are using the auxiliary, the verb be, but in the past form, right? So when you give the answer to that sentence, you will use the auxiliary verb in the past form. So when Stephanie was so worried about yesterday, so was I. So please carefully one more time, the intonation, the stress on the last word, so was I, so was I, all right? Very good. So. And the number six, are we using a model verb or an auxiliary verb? Model verb. Model verb, Mo model verb that is about model what? Verb. Which tense is that? The last one? Future. The future. future. We're talking future. about a future. So if you, say, if you see there, we have the model verb will. So when you give the answer, you will say, so will Jessica, we are still using the same model or auxiliary verb. That's why we have that note in, in yellow letters over there. That's why it says, you should pay attention to the verb tense um, in the statement while choosing our auxiliary form. That's why I was saying, keep in mind, that based on the auxiliary or the model verb you have on the sentence, that's the auxiliary or the model verb that you will use on the answer. That's it. This is very simple. So another thing that you have to keep in mind, it is the structure, the structure that you need to follow to give the answer. If you can see, on the answer of sentence number one, we follow the structure, right? We have first, so, then we have uh, an auxiliary verb that is am, and the last one we have, it is a pronoun, the pronoun I, that's it, very simple. So let's go to some other examples. See, yes, teacher. Oh. Yes. Yes, teacher. Uh and the and the last one sentences uh, oh oh yeah i did i i didn't i didn't so on that one on that one as yeah. you can see 
We do not have an auxiliary verb over there. We do not, oh, Stephanie, Roxana, yeah. what, what are you doing, Stephanie? Hello, hello. Stephanie. <laughs> it happens the same of yesterday. I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> It's in Charlie. Amazing. Oh, today is in Charlie. Today was a Stephanie. All right, but it's okay. So you can see the last one. As you can see there on the last one, we do not have an auxiliary verb. We do not have an a model verb. So okay. how do we how do we know what to answer? Very simple. Do you remember the simple present? Yes. yes. When it comes to questions in simple present, what is the auxiliary that you use? Do and does. Do, do, and, do, does. do, do and does. Very simple. Yeah. So, yeah. as you can see there, the last sentence, it is without auxiliary, without model verb. You cannot see anything there. So you might ask yourself, so what am I going to use to respond this? But there it is the answer. If you remember the simple present, you know that the auxiliary verb that we use um, to create questions, it is doing that. So depending on the pronoun that you are using, you will say, so does she, so does he, but in this case, because I am using the pronoun I, that's why I use the auxiliary do. So do I. Is it clear now, Joaquin? Yes, teacher. All right, very good. So let's go. So let me see. Uh, Stephanie, are you there, Stephanie? Can, can, you, can you erase it? Or you can't? Uh, but let me ask you first, do you see what it is there? Are you able to see it? Yes. Are you, you able? Yeah. Are you able to see it? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Sure. All right, all right. If you see it, there's no problem. So um let's see here. We have uh, we already finished with so. Ya terminamos con so. And let's go to two. <clears throat> two. So the structure that you need to follow to answer that, it is kind of different. Why? Because if you remember when we were using so, so it was at the beginning, right? And the pronoun was at the end. But here, it's a completely new story. Here you have the pronoun at the beginning, then the auxiliary or the model verb, and at the end, you will have two. Yes? So help me, help me with the, with the first sentence. Who wants to help me? Cecilia. Basilia, we? Oui? Yes. Mm -hmm. I am happy. So mm -hmm. I am. I am happy too. All right. So if you can see here, we have both of them. We have uh, the question or the answer using so, and we also have the answer using to. There you can notice the two differences, right? If we if we answer with two, we will have to follow the structure. Then here, pronoun, I, auxiliary verb, am, and the complement, right? I am happy to. This is really simple to understand. If you can see here, we have both examples over there. We have, uh, you can say, I am happy, so am I. Or you can say, I am happy too. Yes? Again, I will tell you, 
make the stress on the last word. In this case, to. You have to say, I'm happy to, yeah. I'm happy to make a little, little stress over there. So you clarify that you're positive to the statement that persons tell before. So Karen Melendez, help me with the number two, please. I am going to Brazil in the summer. So and I am going to Brazil too. Very good. Number three, yes. Katia. Yes. Only a question. Uh, we can, can say I am two, only I am two. We can say like I am two. There's no problem about that. But in this case, we are adding like an extra compliment just to, to not leave that, that space. And with this compliment, let's say that it will be grammatically correct. We can say I, I am too, but that will be kind of informal language, right? So if you want to give like a very, very formal English, you need to add the compliment in order that the other person that you're talking to will understand that you speak very formal English. But you can say, I am happy to. There's no problem about that. The difference is, is that one is formal and another one is informal. Okay, thank you. So number three, Katia. Okay, I am going to Brazil in the summer. So am I, I am going to Brazil too. Thank you. Stephanie Ramirez, the next one. You look nice today. So so do you. You look nice too. Thank you, Eunice. Stephanie, Stephanie has a new boyfriend. So does Mary. Mary has a new one too. All right. So if you, as you can see here, and the answer with so, it was not the same one, the auxiliary, right? It changed. Can someone tell me why did it change? Because in third person. Because it is on the third person, right? Because someone is saying, Stephanie has a new boyfriend. But let's suppose that, that I have Mary with me here at, the, at my side. And I say, so that's Mary. So I'm talking on the third person using the auxiliary of the simple present. That's why I didn't use so has Mary. Because if I, if I would have used, like example, Stephanie has a new boyfriend. So have I, or let's say that Eunice is talking with Stephanie and Stephanie and, and Eunice tells to Stephanie or to someone else, you know what, Stephanie has a new boyfriend and the other person will answer to that. So have I, right? But in this case, as Karen says, we were talking about, or we are talking about the third person. That's why we use does instead of has, right? So, um, Reynaldo, go ahead and help me with the next one, please. Uh, we went, I'm sorry. We went to a concert last night. So mm -hmm. did I. Mm -hmm. Well, I went to the concert too. Thank you so much. Candida Reyes, the next one, please. I won't love a coffee right, right now. Mm -hmm. So what so I? I won't love a coffee too. Candida, do you remember when we saw model verbs? How do we pronounce that model verb? Do we say what? Or do we say would? Uh, word. No, would. Remember, we do not pronounce the letter L. We just said would. Would. All right. Word. No, do not pronounce the letter L. Do not say would. No, would. Just the sound of the letter D. 
would. I would love a coffee right now. So would I. I would love a coffee too. All right? Thank you. Diana Yamilet. He will win, please. So will I. I will win one too. He will win a prize. So will I. I will win one too. Thank you. Jose Mauricio. Josue Mauricio, I'm sorry. They have a finish they homework. So have I, I had finished too. They have finished their homework. So have I, I have finished too. Elizabeth Lopez, next one. She should study more. She should, I, I should study more. All right, Liliana Melendez. We could see the mountains. She could be, we could see them too. Thank you so much. And the last one, I will read it. My brother, oh my God. My brother had eaten too much, so had I. I had eaten too. Oh my God, I don't know what's going on with my computer today. That's the one to work today. So uh, let me ask you guys, any questions so far? Or everything no, is clear? I can, no one, I can speak two languages. Oh, so do it, you now. I can speak two languages. So can I, I can speak two, 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 two. I can speak two, two. All right. So that's why, remember, you have to make the stress on the word two. I can speak two, two. All right. Make the stress. So any questions that you might have using two? Is it clear? No clear? Any doubt? Any regret or something that you might have in your mind? Everything is clear, teacher. Thank you. Clear. Okay, no problem. So let's go to the next one. We have here that is the same usage that you see here. So Celine is watching TV. I am too. Aquí viene. Aquí viene the question Katya asked me before. So she told me, can I say I am too? I told her, yes, you can, but it's kind of something, it's kind of the informal way to say it, right? So we have the examples too. Celine is watching TV. I am too. Sam can speak French fluently. I can too. Terry has completed his master's degree. James has to. It's not that complicated, guys. As you can see it here, something that you have to keep in mind, it is the structure. The structure will give you the answer or will guide you through to resolve or to try to find out the answer to the sentence. That's it. But, um, is there anyone of you that could have uh, any question or can we move to the next to the next one? Can I move to the next one? Yes. All right, cool. Yes. Yes, teacher. All right. So, um for negative for negative statements so keep in mind, for the positive statements, we have so and we have to. So and to are for the positive statements. But for the negative statements, we have neither and also either. This is probably kind of confused because we thought that either was just positive as well, but either can also work as a negative statement as well. 
So we will find out that later on. So in this case, we also have an structure. We have neither between parentheses nor because nor it has the same meaning as neither, right? So plus the auxiliary, plus the model verb, plus the pronoun. I will explain you later on, or as you can see here on the red letters, there's a little explanation about the use of nor or how to use nor. But here, uh, let's see, the first example says, Varek isn't sleeping. Derek isn't sleeping. Neither I am. Neither I am. So what I need you to understand is that neither it will be used for to say like, like negative statements that like you can see there on the first sentence. The sentence is in negative, right? Derek isn't sleeping. Neither I am. Sandra, help me with the number two. Okay, Zendra cannot play the guitar, neither can I, or ne nor can I. Yeah, neither neither can I or nor can I, but nor we will try to understand how the nor works later on. Katia, number three. Jennifer hasn't eaten her sandwich, neither has James. Eunice. They shouldn't complain. Neither we should Thank we. Thank you, Basilia. They shouldn't complain. No, the, no, that one already, Eunice already oh. said it. Sorry, please. Stephanie was not worried at all. Neither was her husband. Neither was his, her husband. Liliana Melendez. Uh, Stephanie was not buried at no, all. That one no. already, Basilia already said it. Okay. Mary and Sam won't attend the meeting. Neither will I. Neither will I. And the last one, Elizabeth Lopez. Those ducks cannot sleep. Neither uh -huh. can cats. All right. Okay. Perfect. I was going to tell you that. All right. But thank you for clarifying it. Those cannot fly. Neither can cats. So, I was about to explain you the use of nor. As you can see there on the, on the red letters, it is like a brief explanation of uh, how to use nor. For example, sometimes you will see or you will hear or you will see this structure. For example, I could say, I wasn't ready, nor was I, ni yo lo estaba, verdad? No estaba listo, ni yo lo estaba, nor was I, or you can simply say, neither was I. So what I want you to understand is that nor and neither are synony synonyms, I'm sorry. They are synonyms, so they have the same meaning. They can be used the same way that neither is used. So, um, so you can have an idea, but nor is not that commonly used. Most of the time it is used only on books or the newspaper or any type of movie or something like that. The most commonly used is gonna be neither, but it's really nice if you already know how to use nor as well, all right? So guys, questions at this moment or is everything clear? If you have questions, please ask the question guys. So you can understand everything. It's clear, teacher. Sure. Everything is clear, teacher. Sure. Yes, Joaquin. Okay. Um, neither 
uh, we are going to use in negative sentence. Yeah, in negative sentence. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right. So no <laughs> questions at all. Well, you said that is clear, right? So let's go to just to this. All right. Okay, so we have here some examples as well. Uh, let me see. Can you see that clear? Yes. All right. So, uh, Sandra, help me reading the first three. I'm not hungry, neither am I. Yes, next one, three of them. Ah, oh, three? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to quit, neither am I. They don't speak French, neither. Mm, in this case, I do it, teacher. Oh, you do? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, do you speak French? <laughs> yes. Oh, that's yeah, really yeah. nice. And, and German too, and German too. Oh my God. <laughs> yes. Wow. Well, a little bit German, not a little bit. But, but, okay. But, that's really nice though. <laughs> All right, yes. so good to know, good to know. So thank you. <laughs> so Ewanise, okay. help me reading the next three examples, please. Stephanie doesn't eat a meat. Neither doesn't marry. Neither Mary does marry. Excuse me. <laughs> Neither okay. does marry. <laughs> Mary didn't go to the party. Neither didn't I. Neither I will... did I. I. Excuse me. It's okay. <laughs> it, um, it's like a confusion with the lines, but it's okay. It's okay. I will not like to do his. Neither will I. Neither will I. Liliana Melendez, help me reading the next three. He won't stop talking, neither will you. You haven't finished, finished your meal, neither have you. I can't reach the top shelf, neither can I. Mm -hmm. Reynaldo, the last three. You shouldn't talk, talk in the movie, neither should you. We wouldn't hear him, neither would we. Um, I hadn't seen her before, neither had I. Neither had I, all right. If you can see there on the examples that we have, the sentence, it is in negative, right? But when we use neither in the answer, is not necessary for you to use the auxiliary or the model verb negative because the word neither will put the auxiliary or the model automatically in negative, okay? That's why in the sentence we have it in negative, but when it comes to the answer, we have it like, like in affirmative, right? Because in example number one, I am not hungry, neither am I. I'm not using the word not over there when it comes to the answer, right? So that's the only thing that I wanted to clarify. Another thing, most of the time people or sometimes people will respond something like me neither, as you can see there on the, on the red letters, it says, Si se fijan en la structure, if you see the structure over there, when you say me neither, you are not using the same structure that you're supposed to use when it comes to the answer, because the structure needs to be this one. First, neither, then the auxiliary or model verb, and the last one, the pronoun. But sometimes in a very informal spoken English, or, or most of the time in the USA, in the streets, people tend to tell you, 
me neither mm-hmm. or something like that but that is very informal spoken english if you want to speak very very formal english you have to follow the structure and you have to say neither am i in instead of saying me neither but both of them are correct when it comes to speak the difference is that one is informal and one is very formal that's it so questions with with neither i'm sorry questions with neither i heard someone said see Mm-hmm. So me neither is is like slang. Like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Me neither. It is like let's say like some idiomatic phrases that native speakers tend to say when it comes to speak, but mm-hmm. it doesn't necessarily means that they are in a very grammatical or very formal way. They, they might not be grammatically correct, but they are acceptable to use it when it comes to speaking. But okay. when it comes to like writing some form of very formal documents, the structure or the grammatically correct structure that you need to follow is this one. When it comes to very formal documents. Mm-hmm. Okay. <clears throat> and I have seen Afro-American people, mm-hmm. uh, they don't pronounce, they don't pronounce correctly the words. For example, I heard that they said, oh, my heart is hurting, my heart. And I suppose they say <laughs> hot, caliente, but heart, they wanted to say heart. Yeah, um, from there's remember that even in the US they have like very different accents depending on the area you lived in. So most of the time people from the south they tend to speak like faster and they have like this southern accent that is completely different from the accent or when it comes to speaking it is really sometimes really difficult to understand. You have to be really careful because if not, you might get confused on what they are trying to tell you. But then with when it comes with the practice and you're practicing and you're listening to that every single day, it comes like very normal. But they they yeah. tend to, to use very, very informal language. Yes, oh, yes, they tend to use because some people in the United States, they will not say neither. They will say neither. Some people say it like that, neither, instead of saying neither, but let me tell you that both of them are correct. So you can say neither am I or neither am I. And people will always understand what you're trying to say because at least in the US, both of them are completely useful. Mm, All right. Okay. Yeah, so thank you. You're welcome. So no questions about neither? Say yes or no, because you know, I don't know. No teacher. No, no questions. questions. No teacher. No All questions. Right. Teacher. So let's go, let's go to either. On either, that's very simple as well. We have the formula over there or the structure that we have over there. First pronoun, then auxiliary or model verb, and at the end, we have either, at the end. end. Does it, is it, as you can see there, the use of the formula of either and the formula of two, it's kind of similar, right? Because two, it is at the end, and either it is at the end as well. So let's see it, let's see an example, let me see. Uh, Oh, can you hear me? Can you hear me well? Because I got a message from someone saying that it is cutting <laughs> off. Can you, can you hear my boss, my voice like clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. 
All right. Clear, teacher. In this moment, yes, teacher. All right. All right. So probably the internet sometimes is not working that properly. But all right. So we have it here. So um, one more time, the what you have to keep in your mind, it is the formula or the structure that you need to follow in order for you to give us an answer to a, a statement. Example number one, Varek isn't sleeping. I am not either. Si se fijan, if you notice the difference between either, neither, I'm sorry, neither and either is that on neither, les dije que el auxiliar or el model verb no lo teníamos que poner en negative, right? But when it comes to either, the auxiliary or the model verb will be in negative as well. Mm -hmm. So example number one, Varek isn't sleeping. I am not either. Sandra cannot play the guitar. I can't either. So uh, let me see. Eunice, help me with the next two sentences, please. Jennifer hasn't eaten her sandwich. Jen, James hasn't either. They should not complain with either. Thank you. And the next two, Stephanie Ramirez. Okay. Stephanie was not worried at all. Her husband wasn't either. Mary and Sam won't attend the meeting. The meeting. I will not either. Mm -hmm. And the last one, dogs cannot fly. Cats can't either. So um, as you can see there, as I told you one more time, the auxiliary and the model verb, it needs to be negative when we are going to use either. So in the, in the American accent or American people, they will have two ways of pronunciation. They will, they could say either, or they could say either. Both of them are correct, yes? You could hear some of, depending of the area people lived in, they could say either or either, but both of them are correct, okay? So any questions so far? Questions for either? No teacher. No teacher. No questions. Okay. If there is no questions, here I will explain you a little bit or the informal interactions that people usually do. So when speaking or in less formal greetings, regardless of tense, we can use me too. Most of the time, la mayoría de veces, nosotros cuando estamos aprendiendo, Tenemos la tendencia a decir, me too. But that, that is very informal. That is something oh. very informal. So, or we tend to say, me neither, the first person. But those are very informal interactions. Very informal interactions that we probably, um, we probably get them from any movie that we saw or that we heard someone talking like in that way. And because we didn't know the right structure or the grammatically correct structure, we just got it, we learn it, and we say it the way we heard it, yes? But let me tell you that those are very formal interactions. Example number one, if I say, I have been studying a lot of recently, me too, that's good. I mean, I can say that and people is going to understand what I'm saying, but, that is gonna be very informal, yes? So let me ask you, Joaquin, 
what how would you make that informal like formal i'm sorry formal following one of the structures that i that i just gave you today if i tell you i have been studying a lot recently how would you give me a formal answer to that can someone help him less yes teacher um i can say uh, can someone help him i am too i have to i'm happy i have to i have to i can say i have to or so have i right so have i so have I. So, so, have, I, so I, have I, or I have to. Those okay. are grammatically correct. But when you can say also me too, and people, as I told you, is going to completely understand what you're saying, but that will be very informal, okay? So Katya, help me with number two. Okay. He never attended class regularly. Re me? Re yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. Me neither. Me neither. How could you make that in a formal, in a formal, like in a formal structure? How could you neither change I. that to a formal structure? Neither, neither did I. Neither did I. Very good, Stephanie. Neither did I because neither. we have. Neither. What neither else? And I. Neither did I is one of the, the answers Stephanie Ramirez That's told. It. That's very good. Can someone else give me another option? Look to the look to the sentence. Nor did I. Nor did I, it could be, yes. Nor did I, what else? Any other option? I didn't either. So do I. I didn't either, that's, that's very good. So what did I. you say, Joaquin? So do I. Can I say it's so do I, guys? When, no, because it's no way, no way. If I cannot tell me why I cannot say so do I. Because so use in positive sentence. In positive sentence. Very good. Yeah. What else can you tell me? Ajá, verdad, si los quería agarrar. Nadie dice nada ahorita, vea. And when I ask you if there's question, no, there is no questions, verdad. All right, ajá. Así, vea. All right, so what can you tell me? Number three, let's see, Eunice. Yeah. Number three, Eunice. Oh, you know what, Stephanie Ramirez, I saw that you raised your hand, so go ahead, Stephanie. Is, uh, neither have I. Neither have I, or any other option? I haven't either. I haven't either, very good. Is that the only two options that I can use? Nor have I. Yes. Nor have I. Nor have I. Very uh, good. Nor have I. All right. All right. So, as you can see there, I think that you completely understand this. So, pay attention to that, guys. Those, those answers like me too, me neither, me neither, those are very formal 
ways to say that. Now that you know the structure, now you know how to say it in a very formal way. As I told, uh, um, as I told you some minutes ago, it's not wrong if you say me too, it's not wrong. People is going to understand you, but I need you to like, to, to understand that one is formal and one is informal, okay? That's it. So uh, any questions that you might have at this moment or is everything clear? Everything's clear, teacher, thank you. All right, so if there's no questions at this moment, guys, let me tell you that today is our last class because we're going to vacations. And um, during vacations, guys, people who hasn't finished the, the exercises on the platform, I will hardly recommend you to complete it. You will have enough time, like it's gonna be the whole week. We're going to go since tomorrow. We, we will have classes and I will see you back on, let me see here, the day will be on, okay. yeah, on Monday night. All right, that will be the day that we will come back to classes. So I was, as I was telling you at the very beginning, we are about to finish this model. Um, after vacations, we will only have uh, six more classes and this will be done. So guys, please, I hardly recommend you one more time to keep on working on the platform during vacations, or if you didn't understand any topic or something like that, go and study the slides or study a little bit more so you can get uh, like a little bit more of information in your brain and you can practice a little bit more, okay? So this is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for coming to the class. Once again, it was my pleasure to see you and well, be safe. Take uh, the recommendations of the, of the government, right? Wear a mask when you're in the public you're places vacation. and enjoy your vacations, okay? So thank you, very much. Thank thank you, you so much, thank guys. You Have a good much, night teacher. and you. may God bless you all. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye-bye. Good night, teacher. Good night.